Hello friends, not too long ago I started making my own wine and meat. To start a bottle, I built a wine rack. Now the wine and meat has aged and is ready to be tasted. To make it special, I created a wine flight. Mmm, it's so good. It's simple to build your own. Follow me and lessons anfangen. Actually, not drinking while operating machinery, so I'm just gonna leave this here for now. We start by cleaning up the edges of the live edge boards. I like to keep the bark on one side of the boards, therefore I remove the bark by using a chisel. Be gentle when removing the bark, since you might need it in case there is some bark missing on the opposite side. I use some wood glue and clamps to glue the missing pieces of bark on. Make sure you apply enough pressure to get an even seam, so you cannot tell the bark was glued on. While the glue dries, let's get to the designs. I want to create multiple wine flights and one charcuterie board. For the charcuterie board, I want the word engraved and on the side I want honeycombs. As for the wine flight, I created a design with honeycombs and circles that I use to keep the glasses from sliding off the board. I fully cut all the patterns for the charcuterie board. For the flights, I only cut the honeycomb patterns since I want to fill them in with resin before I cut the circles. You can decide how deep you want to cut the honeycombs. If you make them deeper than the circles, you will see the continuous pattern. If you choose to make them less deep than the circles, there will be no pattern. I chose both and ended up liking the continuous pattern much better. So I went with 5mm deep honeycombs and 3mm deep circles. Let's go into the studio to pour some resin. As always when working with resin, Wear some gloves and a respirator or make sure you work in a well-ventilated area. I'm using Total Bow Tabletop Resin. This resin has a one-to-one -one ratio. And you know what's next. Resin dance! Fill in the small lines I'm using a syringe. Just fill in the resin and squeeze. The resin will settle a bit while drying, so make sure you overfill the lines. The color here looks very orange, but it's actually a yellow gold once it dries. Let the resin cure overnight. It's the next day now and I start by taking off any extra resin. Just run it through the planner a few times to jumpstart the process. You can also just sand it down. Once the surface is even, it's time to cut out the circles. I'm using my CNC machine. Here you can see what I was talking about earlier. The honeycomb pattern is deeper in the circles, therefore you end up with a continuous pattern. Everything is cut, now it's time for sanding.
this will be enough sanding. Now we spray some water onto the boards to raise the grain. Once the board is dry, we come back and quick sand it one more time with 240 grit. Next up is the finish. Like always, I'm using Mica Mate Liquid Hydration Wood Oil. Ooh, that sugar sweet. You got what I need. Let's give the wood a bath in it. Let the wood soak in as much oil as it wants to. Let the boards dry overnight. Touch the same floor. Our world has been shaking on. Oh, what's your soul saying? And now, it's time for Moose Magoo's wood butter. Add a small amount onto a lint-free cloth and rub it in a circular motion. Let it dry, then come back to buff. This product is food safe and will add a protective wax layer onto your board. It will leave the wood with a satin shine. I attached rubber legs onto the bottom of the boards. Like always, all the links to the products I'm using are linked in the description below. Make sure you pre-drill all the holes. For the handles, I wanted something a little different, so I picked leather handles with mirror screws with cap covers. And we are fertig! What is your favorite meat or wine? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. Tschüss!